Hey guys, Dr. Chernoff here, and welcome back to Statistics for the New Social Scientist. So in this video, we're going to continue our discussion about data management. Specifically, we're going to focus on those value labels, and we're going to talk about how it is you can take the values that are in your SPSS database and apply meaningful labels to them. So let's get to it. So as you can see here, I've already got SPSS fired up and ready to go. So what you'll want to do is make sure you click on this variable view tab. So this is going to give you that tab that has all that metadata about, about your data. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to that column here, all these value labels, and then this is where we're going to focus. So it's by using this, this column here that we're going to be able to look at all the values that are in our database and assign meaningful labels to those values. So if you go back to the original survey, for instance, we can see that when people were checking those boxes, you know, they weren't giving us the numbers 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. Instead, they were giving us you know, words. They were telling us strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, strongly disagree. So what we can do is we can include that information in SPSS using that, that metadata tab. So what we can do is we can look at this tab here. So here we have this first row, um, and it represents all the metadata for that first question, the safety feeling on campus after dark. We've got the short name, we've got the label, but we can also go to this, this values column, and we can enter in the, the values that actually connect with the numbers we've entered. So what you can do is you click on the cell and you'll click on these three dots and you'll get this value labels window here. So what you want to do is click this plus sign and you want to enter in the first the first number that, that you put into SPSS. So maybe we put in the number two. So when it comes to the number two, every time we see a number two, we know that, that that's just shorthand for strongly agree. And then we can go in and put in a number one and whenever we see a number one, we know that's shorthand for agree. So we click the plus button again, put in a zero. Anytime we see a zero, that actually means neutral. Click the plus, plus button again, put in a negative one. And then we can put in the words disagree. And then put in a negative two. And then put in the words strongly disagree. So what we've done by using this window is we've said, okay, here are all the possible numbers that could have been entered in as a response to that question. And here are all, all the values, all the labels, all the words that those, those numbers, that those numbers mean. So we can click OK. And you can see this immediately by just looking at the Data View tab. So if we go to the Data View tab for this first column, we see the number 1. But then if we go up to this, this button here, this value labels button, so this is a button that has like this, this blue double-headed arrow with the, the number one and the letter A. And if we click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to replace the numbers with their value labels. So if I click on that, we can see that we've changed the, that first response, that value of a one, to an agree. And if we want to undo that, we just click that button one more time. So you want to, have, you want to go ahead and do this for all of your categorical variables. So again, you click on that cell, click the plus sign, or the three dots. You'll get this value labels window here. Click the plus sign. You'll put in a two, and know that that means strongly agree. We'll then put in a one, and we know that that means agree. And then we'll put in a zero, so neutral. Click the plus sign, negative one disagree, click the plus sign, and then we get a negative 2, and that's going to be strongly disagree. And again, if we go back to this data view tab, if we click this value labels button, we can see that those two numbers change. So it goes from being a 1 and a 2 to agree and strongly agree. If we click that value labels button again, it reverts them back into numbers. So you'll want to go through all of your questions, all of your variables, and if they're categorical, you'll want to be you want to label the different values people could have provided you with the words that they're associated with. So one way you can do that again is just by clicking on the cell, clicking on the three dots, and doing it question by question. Another thing you can do though is you can just click on the cell, hit Control C, and that'll copy all of those value labels, and then you just go to the next cell and hit Paste, 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 Paste. And then again, we can see that this is doing what we expect. So we go to data view, click on the value labels button, and we can see that all of the numbers have been replaced with their value labels. And if we want to undo it, we again, just click this value labels button. 
So go ahead and do this for the rest of your categorical variables. Remember to also just pay attention to the annotated survey. So here when it comes to this, I feel safe walking alone on campus, that we're talking about strongly agree to strongly disagree. But then when we get into the, the questions about fear of crime, that we actually are talking about never, rarely, sometimes, very often, or always. So the, the numbers themselves can change. So here it's zero to four, and as well as the labels themselves can change. So pay attention to each set of questions. You know, again, if you scroll down and we get to this question about have you ever been the victim of crime before? You know, we have the numbers one and zero, but we'll replace the, the ones with yes, and we'll have all the zeros be connected with that word no. Okay, so another, another way you can get your data ready for analysis. Okay, guys, so that's the video. So we went into SPSS, and we, for all of our categorical variables, we took all those values and we applied meaningful labels to them. So it's, it's that easy. So good luck on your research, and remember the rest of the assignment is up to you.